Many car manufacturers use code names to identify their cars during the development stage. Once that stage is over, they reveal the car and the name that it will be called by. These code names usually involve a combination of numbers and letters. Having a code name for a vehicle could give the manufacturer security from the public eye as the media are always keen on getting information on a car before it is revealed. For example, if the public find out that BMW is developing a car called the G16, it will give them a lot less information than if the public knew that BMW was developing a car called the 8 Series Grand Coupe. Having a code name could also simplify the identification of parts. For example, instead of labelling the doors as the doors that fit the BMW 5 Series from 2017 onwards, the doors could simply be labelled as the ones for the G30. It's time to explain BMW's code naming system. Throughout a lot of BMW's history, their model code names have generally consisted of an E followed by a two-digit number, such as the E46. The letter E stands for Entwicklung in German, which means development in English. This is logical as the cars use their code name when in development. The digits at the end stand for what number car is being developed. So the BMW E85 is the 85th car that BMW has developed since it started using this code naming scheme. After BMW used up all two digit numbers, it moved to the letter F as a prefix instead of going on to three digit numbers. The letter F doesn't stand for anything. It's just a logical next step after the letter E because it comes next in the alphabet. Once BMW used up all two digit numbers with the letter F, it moved on to the letter G. Current BMWs use the letter G in their code name. While I was explaining this, you may have noticed that there are many gaps in the numbers that BMW have used. For example, BMW has jumped from the E12 straight to the E21. And the final car produced with an F prefix was the F90 not the F99. BMW hasn't told us anything on why they did this, but what I can guess is that the missing numbers were all cars that never made it into final production. Hopefully you learnt how BMW's model code names work. Do you own a BMW? If so, comment below what code name it has.